Good day, Saints. This is your director, the Reverend Tom Sramick Jr. I'm coming to you from the busy corner of 4th and Lincoln Streets. See, it's very busy and very loud. Um, and I'm coming to you from this corner uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, one, to sort of show you uh, how wonderful our property uh, looks at this particular point. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Todos Los Santos folks uh, came out and did a wonderful job with the uh, uh, mulch and gardening and uh, doing some great stuff with that so uh, looks like we're ready for springtime and the buds are already budding on some of the trees and some of the trees have already uh, erupted in flowers so wonderful wonderful uh, springtime uh, look to our facility uh, also wanted to do that because I wanted to uh, show to you um, right behind me show to you that the uh, the um, all of the uh, apartments and things that are going on across the street from us and that's really happening and getting uh, more and more uh, completed so that'll be uh, another thing that's going on in the neighborhood and then to sort of complete the circle uh, if you want to look down um, the street to my <laughs> to the rear here you can see that the um, retirement community is continuing to make progress. Uh, I'm guessing they will be finished with that probably around June or July and start moving people in in August. So by fall, we will have uh, 144 housing units of new neighbors. Um, and so that'll be good. Uh, hopefully we'll have some folks that want to walk across the street and join us for, uh, for our uh, gatherings and for our services so that'll be uh, a wonderful thing uh, indeed uh, but I wanted to uh, come to you from this corner also because uh, we are now in Easter tide and Easter tide is the time in which we uh, hear much uh, more about the church uh, the early church specifically uh, we get uh, the book of Acts uh, read almost straight through in place of our usual Old Testament lesson and we hear about all of the wonderful things that are going on in the early church and the conversions and the growth and all of the wonderful things that are happening and I think uh, for us in the church of the uh, 21st century the early 21st century rather than the early first century uh, we can think about wow wow that was really those were really good times those were really times when the church was uh, awash in uh, new people and uh, new energy and you know, Jesus had been raised and was appearing to people and uh, even after he ascended uh, the church still grew and thrived and prospered. Uh, but I think we also need to realize that uh, yes we hear about all of the growing and prospering and thriving part but uh, there was also lots of persecution and lots of uh, difficulty. Um, initially Jesus's followers were looked at as a sect of Judaism and they grew farther and farther away from uh, their initial uh, status as that sect. Um, they were looked upon more and more and more by the Roman authorities as a revolutionary uh, group, and uh, they were more and more persecuted in the early uh, decades and actually centuries of the church. So you know, it wasn't all growth and wonderfulness. Uh, it was some really challenging times to uh, be a member of this new a sect which was originally just called The Way, uh, after Jesus' says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, and so, you know, I think it's worth thinking about uh, the fact that even though we're dealing with lots of difficulties and challenges in the 21st century, um, you know, we don't have persecutions, uh, we're not being persecuted for our faith, uh, we're sometimes not even being consulted about our faith. Uh, and so it's, I think, worth thinking about uh, who are we as the church, who, are, uh, who is All Saints Episcopal Church, um, not just our building, uh, as wonderful and lovely as that is, but uh, who are we as a church and as a uh, community of faith, and um, how do we communicate that to uh, folks around us? How do we express our own faith in the things that we do and the words that we say? Um, and this uh, is also a time in which uh, we think about uh, Thomas and we read about Thomas in the gospel and talk about his own 
uh, doubts and all of the challenges that he faced in believing in the power of the resurrection. Uh, and it's, it's that, that challenges, those wrestlings, um, which I think can be good news for people uh, with whom we interact, that the church does not have it all together. The church does not have it, uh, everything locked down, that we, we also have our doubts. We also have our um, challenges and difficulties, you know, even with our own faith. And so I encourage you as we move through these uh, initial weeks of Eastertide, and yes, Easter is still here. It's uh, 50 days long, goes all the way through Pentecost, uh, that as we do that, we think about also um, how we uh, live the resurrection, how we do so in our lives, uh, and how we can do so in a way that draws others, uh, not simply to all Saints Episcopal Church, uh, but to Jesus. So, God bless, and I will see you soon.